When it comes to a paint finish, prep is very important and using the right masking tape makes a huge difference. So the question is, which masking tape is the best? Today we're going to be testing 10 different brands to see which brand delivers the best performance. A high quality masking tape does not leave adhesive behind once you're finished with it. So in the first test, we're going to apply these masking tapes to this piece of plexiglass. We're going to come back in 24 hours after it's been exposed to a little bit of sun and heat. Since masking tapes are pressure sensitive, I'll be using a three inch rubber roller with five pounds on top to make sure that each tape has been pressed down equally. Since frog tape is moisture activated and also all these tapes will likely come in contact with moisture when in use, we're going to apply moisture to the left half of the test set. This is just a paper towel with distilled water on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the paper towel and then we'll dry it off. We'll come back near the end of this video and remove the tapes to see just how much adhesive was left behind and to see if moisture has had an impact on each of the tapes. The next set of tests will include cutting up several pieces of drywall that have been painted with five coats of paint. The drywall has two coats of primer and three coats of paint on it. I'll be applying latex paint in one test using a roller. In another test, I'll be using a paintbrush. In the third test, I'll be using an oil-based spray paint. To see how good these tapes are at preventing bleed through, we'll be checking each one of the samples at 10 minutes and four hours. To see how easily these tapes release from the paint, we'll be checking back in 72 hours. I'm gonna go ahead and take our test set down, apply the tapes, and then we'll put it right back up, apply the paint, and let the testing begin. Costing only $1.39 for 60 yards, this duct general purpose tape is the least expensive tape we'll be testing. It's been right at 10 minutes, I'm going to begin with duct general. As you can see, we have quite a bit of bleed through under this tape. If you shop at Harbor Freight, you've probably seen their original Stick Tech masking tape. This is the second least expensive product we'll be testing at $1.74 for 60 yards. Duct general and Stick Tech seem about the same. The third least expensive tape we'll be testing at $2.79 per yard is this Duck Pro Painters Tape. Duck General, Stick Tech, and Duck Pro all look about the same. The fourth least expensive product we'll be testing is this clean release tape made by Duck Brand, 60 yards for $2.97. Duck Clean is definitely the best of the four tapes we've tested so far. There's very little bleed under. Costing $3.27 for 60 yards, this Painters Mate tape is sold at Menards and is the fifth least expensive tape we'll be testing. Painters Mate is definitely not as good as Duck Clean. Duck Clean has done the best so far. Much to my surprise, the Dollar General masking tape, which is a general purpose tape, not even a Painters Tape, is the sixth least expensive product we'll be testing. Dollar General left quite a bit of bleed through. Costing $3.99, this Stick Tech Painters Tape is one of the most expensive tapes we'll be testing, tied with 3M2020 for the seventh most expensive tape. The Stick Tech Masking Tape did just as good as the Stick Tech Painters. This Scotch Contractors Grade Masking Tape, which is not a Painters Tape, is tied with the Stick Tech Painters Tape for the seventh most expensive tape, costing $3.99. 3M 2020 did not do as well as Duck Clean, but it definitely did better than most of the competition. Costing $4.99 for 60 yards, this frog tape is the ninth most expensive product we'll be testing. It also claims to be the only tape with paint block technology. Frog tape is the only tape treated with paint block technology. Paint block is a super absorbent polymer which reacts with latex paint and instantly gels to form a micro barrier that seals the edges of the tape, preventing paint bleed. Wow, I have to say I'm really impressed with frog tape. Not very much bleed under at all. Extremely impressive. The most expensive tape at $5.67 is this Scotch Painters Tape. Frog tape in first, 3M Blue in second, and Duck Clean seems to be third. Frog tape definitely did the best of all the brands with 3M Blue coming in second and probably Duck Clean coming in third. Let's see how these tapes perform with a paint roller. It's been right at 10 minutes, so let's begin removing the tapes. Duck General has quite a bit of bleed through. 
Okay, a lot of bleed through with stick tech. Even Duck Pro has quite a bit of bleed through. Wow, definitely much better. Duck Clean did a really good job. Painter's Mate. Okay, Painter's Mate definitely has more bleed through than Duck Clean. Dollar General. Dollar General definitely has some bleed through. Stick Tech. 3M 2020. Frog Tape. Wow, look at that. 3M Blue. There's a lot of bleed through with Duck General, Stick Tech, and Duck Pro. This is Duck Pro, and if you compare it to Duck Clean, you can see Duck Clean is a far superior tape. It did a great job at controlling the bleed through. You can see there are some imperfections. It's not a perfect tape, but when you consider the price, it's definitely a far better option than some of the ones that we're about to look at. You can see that Duck Clean did a far better job than Painter's Mate, as well as the Dollar General tape. Just like before we saw with Stick Tech, there's a lot of bleed through with it. 3M2020 this time seemed to have a little bit more bleed through than last. So if you compare 3M2020 to Frog Tape, it is impressive to see just how good this Frog Tape is. Also, look at 3M Blue. It did an amazing job, but there is some bleed through in a couple of areas. Quite a bit of bleed through with Duck General, Stick Tech, as well as Duck Pro. Duck Clean definitely did a lot better than Duck Pro. Duck Clean also did far better than Painter's Mate. Now Dollar General actually did better than Painter's Mate, but definitely not as good as Duck Clean. The Stick Tech painters definitely seem slightly better than Duck General, Stick Tech, and Duck Pro, but it's definitely not in the top five. 3M 2020 actually did very well this time. Not quite as good as Frog Tape. Frog Tape once again finishes in first, and 3M Blue comes in second, but I would say 3M 2020 is in third, and Duck Clean comes in fourth. It's been right at 24 hours since the tape was applied to the plexiglass. The left side of the test setup was exposed to water and the right side was not. I'm gonna go ahead and peel off each of the tapes and we'll see how much residue was left behind. Once you peeled off the tape, the last thing you want is an adhesive trail because that becomes a magnet for dust and dirt. With Duck General, there's a little bit of adhesive that I can feel right along the edge of the tape line. With Stick Tech, it's pretty bad, especially on the side that had moisture exposure. There's a lot of adhesive left on the plexiglass. I'm really surprised that Duck Pro didn't do better than Duck General. There's quite a bit of adhesive left on the very edge of the tape on the side that became damp. Duck Clean did a pretty good job. I can feel a very small amount of adhesive, but definitely a good job. Painter's Mate actually did fairly well also. It seems to be about the same as Duck Clean. There doesn't seem to be too much adhesive with Dollar General. It actually did fairly well. There's a lot of adhesive left behind with the Stick Tech Painter's Tape. Wow, 3M 2020 actually did fairly well. I'm not feeling any sort of adhesive even along the edge of the tape line. As you can see, Frog Tape did a good job except for the tape line. You can see that there's a lot of adhesive, especially on the side that became damp. 3M Scotch Blue definitely seems to have done the best. I'm not feeling any adhesive left behind. I'm gonna go ahead and dump some cornstarch on this plexiglass to see if it sticks to the adhesive. I'm gonna go ahead and shake this off and we'll get a closer look at the plexiglass. I use compressed air to blow off the excess cornstarch, so what I'm gonna do now is use a paper towel to see how much this will wipe off. 3M Blue definitely seems to have done the best. Very little adhesive left on the plexiglass. Frog Tape actually left quite a bit. 3M 2020 did fairly well, a little bit better than Frog Tape. Stick Tech Painter's Tape, I definitely don't recommend it. There is a lot of adhesive left behind, even on the section that was not exposed to moisture. Dollar General actually did better than Stick Tech. Painter's Mate actually seems to have done fairly well. Duck Clean did fairly well, but as you can see, there's some adhesive left behind. There are large chunks of adhesive with the Stick Tech, especially on the side that became moist. Duck General actually did fairly well. It's been right out four hours since we applied the paint by paintbrush, so I'm gonna begin removing the tapes. Just like last time, Duck General, Stick Tech, and Duck Pro just didn't seem to do very well. A lot of bleed through, 
but Duck Clean actually did really well. So if you look at Duck Clean and compare it to Painter's Mate, which is sold at Menards, Duck Clean definitely did a far superior job. I'm really surprised that Painter's Mate and Dollar General did about the same. Unfortunately, Stick Tech didn't seem to do quite as well as Dollar General or Painter's Mate, even though it costs more. 3M2020 had some areas of excellence and some areas where there's quite a bit of bleed through, so it actually didn't do too bad. Frog Tape is definitely the best. Look at how clean these lines are. There's one small area where there's a very, very, very small amount of an imperfection, but that's very impressive when you consider how all the other brands are performing. 3 and Blue did pretty good as well. You can see just a couple of areas where there's some bleed through. Four hours since we applied these paints with a paint roller. Using the paint roller really put each of these brands to the test. The Duck General, Stick Tech, and Duck Pro, just like we've seen in previous testing, just did not do very well especially when you compare it to Duck Clean. Painter's Mate doesn't look quite as good as Duck Clean, but Painter's Mate seems to be slightly better than Dollar General and definitely better than Stick Tech Painters. 3M 2020 seemed to struggle this time quite a bit, quite a bit of bleed through. Frog Tape continues to amaze with a near perfect job and 3M Blue did a decent job as well. Four hour test on our spray paint. The spray paint doesn't seem to be nearly as challenging of a test as the paint roller. With that said, there is quite a bit of bleed through with the Duck General, the Stick Tech, and the Duck Pro. Duck Clean definitely beat Duck General, Stick Tech, and Duck Pro. Painter's Mate doesn't seem to have done nearly as well as Duck Clean, and it looks like Dollar General actually beat Painter's Mate. So Frog Tape definitely did better than 2020, but not that much. And I would say this time 3M Blue actually beat Frog Tape. Now Frog Tape is designed for latex, not for an oil-based paint like we use with the spray can. However, it still did remarkably well. 3M 2020, I would say, is number three. In order to prevent bleed through on a really rough surface, I'm gonna use three of the different tapes and then we'll apply some caulking to the one edge of the tape and then we'll see just how much bleed through takes place. This is Duck General, Frog Tape, 3M Blue. I'm gonna apply a very thin layer of caulking right along this edge, very, very thin. We're only going to apply the caulking to the top edge of the tape. We're going to apply the paint and see how much bleed through happens from the underside versus the top side. We'll be back in 10 minutes to see how much bleed through occurred. It's been right at 10 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the tapes. Wow. Even with the cheapest tape, Duck General, look at that perfect line. Very impressive. Look at all the bleed through that happened on the bottom side. So the paint actually had to wick up. Next up is frog tape. Even frog tape needed some help from the caulking. As you can see, there was some bleed through even with frog tape. 3M Blue. Wow, check that out. So 3M Blue needed a lot of help as well. As you can see, a lot of bleed through, no bleed through. A second coat of paint was applied. It's been 72 hours and this drywall was exposed to some heat. The amount of bleed through shouldn't change after four hours of cure time. So the purpose of the next test is to see just how easily these tapes release from the paint once it's been exposed to a little bit of heat and some time. So let's pull off the tape one at a time and see how the tapes perform. Okay, obviously Duck General didn't do very well and you may not be able to see this, but it actually pulled away some of the paint that's underneath the tape. The only tape that struggled a little bit seemed to be Duck General. The rest of the tape seemed to release from the drywall just fine. So if I had a semi-smooth surface to paint, I would definitely choose Frog Tape. It provided some incredibly clean lines and did a tremendous job. Now 3M Blue and Duck Clean were very good tapes as well, and I would consider using them on a smooth surface, but for a semi-smooth surface, Frog Tape is definitely better. I have a lot of fun doing these videos, and 100% of the video ideas on this channel come from viewers. So if you have a video idea, I hope you'll take time to leave a comment. I spend a lot of time reading and replying to comments because I enjoy the interaction and I get a lot of great video ideas from everyone watching the videos. As usual, just wanna say thanks so much for watching. Please take care and I look forward to next time.